This is everything you're going to need to change the oil on a 1.8 liter Yamaha Wave Runner. So you're going to need an oil extractor. This is an electric type that hooks to the battery. Uh, you're going to need a funnel. You're going to need an oil filter wrench, a 6 millimeter Allen wrench, or a ratcheting style uh, Allen wrench. Oil, obviously, you're going to need the oil filter that goes with it. going to have seven of these bolts you're going to have three on this side you'll have one in the very back at the bottom here and then you'll have three here these are six millimeters so if you have a kit like this go ahead and get your six millimeter your extension and a ratchet if not use the old-fashioned allen wrench Take the suction side of your oil extractor and put it down the dipstick tube and then plug it in and turn it on. So the reason why this is awesome, this one gallon just dollar store kind of pitcher is it's got measurements on the side of it so you know exactly how many quarts you took out so that's how many about how much you would need to replace so this is right at one gallon here so I got four quarts there which should be um, just enough to fill it up and I have an extra one just in case next we got the oil filter we need to take out so what I like to do is order you some of these oil dry pads but you'll set this down in the bottom of the ski under the oil filter here. You just take your wrench, get it on the end of the filter there, and then start twisting it off. And you'll feel it come a little loose. And then you'll just by hand take it out the rest of the way. Be careful not to drop it. And then hold it filter side up, the screw side up. Then, for some reason my camera didn't record me putting the new filter on, but you simply just screw it on and you'll twist it hand tight and then the oil dry pad that you had down under it, you just take that out. And because we used this earlier, we know we took exactly a gallon out, which is four quarts. So we'll add all four quarts to the engine and we should be right where we need to be. All right, once you've filled it up, go ahead, take your dipstick, check where you're at. You should be between the low mark and the full mark. There, I'm exactly perfect in between the two marks. All right, so now we're just gonna put the cover back on the ski. Just put it on the way you take it off. Slide it on from the back. Reset your maintenance life. You're gonna go over all the way to the left on your menu and then go down to wellness, select OK, and then that'll show you the last time since maintenance, and you're gonna click reset. 
and now you're good to go. And it's a good idea to start the engine and let it run and get to temperature, turn it off and then check the oil again and then add any fluids as needed. But if this video helped, please like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.